Hi, I'm Judy Tayabji. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you had a great weekend and enjoyed the sun. Um, personally, I don't mind it cold if there's sun. Some people prefer the snow, and that's coming. Today, we're going out of the heading of health. As you know, we've talked in the past about hormones in the food. We've also looked at prostate cancer and hepatitis C. And today, we're bringing you shark cartilage. And this is one of the producer's favorite subjects, I'm sure. Today we have the author of the book, Sharks Don't Get Cancer, and he's come out with a second book, Sharks Still Don't Get Cancer, and he's going to try to convince us that shark cartilage is going to have an impact on our health. And I'm going to give him a hard time, but many of you may have questions that you'd like him to answer about some of the research he's done on this. First, we'd like to give you a little background on this issue. As was shown by work at MIT, shark cartilage has the ability to prohibit development of new blood vessels, and as such, stop tumor growth. A study was done on 29 terminal patients. We're happy to say, of those 29 dying patients, we only lost nine of them to cancer, and they died within the first four months. After that, we have lost no one to cancer, and we're now in four years. And to me, this is very significant because they were all stage four, they were all neck to death, and they were all supposed to be dead within six months. The FDA has not approved shark cartilage per se. They've approved shark cartilage processed a specific way. And it's only if you use the right material and if you use the right amounts that you can hopefully get the right effect. The research has shown to date that one gram per kilo of body weight has been effective. The daily dose should be divided into three or four equal portions, blended in a blender or a shaker with about six or eight ounces of juice, and it should be taken before meals and taken regularly. Generally, within five weeks of starting the therapy, we find an upgrade of quality of life. At eight to 10 weeks, we find pain mitigation, and about 12 to 14 weeks, we find the tumor response. If after 20 weeks, you see no response, up your dosage because you may be taking too little. The shark cartilage has an opportunity to help you and it will help you. Just remember, it's very easy to give up hope, it's very easy to die, but don't fight it and you will live and live a happy and fruitful life. So now you can judge for yourself, and if you have questions, Dr. Lane is here to answer them. And as I say, I'm going to give him a hard time. Let's see uh, how well he can answer the questions. We'll be taking your calls to this number after the break. How do you throw out a garbage can? Canada Trust asks, what confuses you? Anything metric confuses me. Yeah. Stereo instructions. <laughs> Where does the wax from dripless candles go? When should you plant geranium cuttings? What's the only time of year to safely move peonies? How long can live Christmas trees remain indoors? Get answers to these and other questions by ordering the Get Up and Grow Gardening Guide in Calendar for 1998. Gord Nickel, host of the Get Up and Grow TV show, has compiled over 360 useful tips to help novices and green thumbs alike succeed in the garden. All of this timely information has been combined with rich botanical illustrations to give you an invaluable resource. Hi, I'm Gord Nickel, host of Get Up and Grow, seen every Saturday morning on Check TV. Order the Get Up and Grow Gardening Guide and Calendar now and you'll receive a Forget-Me-Not Seed Package at no extra cost. To order your Gardening Guide and Calendar, send $12.99 plus $2 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Or call 1-888-456-5577 and have your credit card handy. The guide is also available at Canner Nursery in Victoria, Abbotsford and Chilliwack. Call now and get growing in 1998. With Party Time Volume 3 featuring Millie Vanilli, Salt and Peppa, Ram Jam, The Contours, and Boney M. 23 tracks of pure party mania, including Rick James. 
Over 75 minutes of explosive hits. It's the greatest collection of party hits ever. Pump it up at your next party with Party Time Volume 3. You just can't party without it. From SPG, in stores now. If you have problems with arthritis or you're facing cancer, you may want to talk to Dr. William Lane. He's the author of Sharks Don't Get Cancer and now Sharks Still Don't Get Cancer. And he is here to tell us that shark cartilage is going to be some sort of remedy. And as I say, I promise to give you a hard time, so I will do that. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you, Judy. Now, just before we start this, I have to let you know, if you're trying to get through by the phone, just be patient, because they can only take one call at a time, and quite a few lines are ringing. So uh, anyway, we will get to you. Now, shark cartilage. Okay, why are we supposed to believe you? Um, you have a financial stake in this, obviously. You're going to make some money off this. If people buy your book and they buy other books, and there's the, uh, the Lane Labs shark, bed, uh, shark uh, cartilage. The Lane Labs, uh, I have no part of that. Uh, Believe it or not, uh, I don't even have a consulting uh, agreement with them right now. Uh, they use the name uh, because Lane name is associated with the therapy, but uh, my son is involved with the company, but that's the only tie to me. Okay, now, well, why should we believe you? I mean, shark cartilage is kind of you a strange... You shouldn't believe me. You should believe the results. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, Mike Wallace, when he went to Cuba, they went there with skeptic, skeptical as, as all get out. And, but they saw the patients at the beginning. They saw the patients at the, the middle part. They saw the patients at the end. Now, when you say Cuba, that's because that's where patients have had to go to get this kind of treatment. No, that's where the, a, a major study was first run. Okay. And uh, so they saw, it isn't what I wrote. That's the trouble with peer review. It's what the man writes and how you interpret it. But here, Mike Wallace, who's the most skeptical of all, mm -hmm. he went there and he saw the patient at the beginning, during, and the end. And uh, he, what, he, what he reported is what he saw, not what I wrote. Okay, now you're, you're a doctor, William Lane, but you're not a medical doctor. I'm sure I'm not. No. Okay, tell us, what, tell us your credentials. Well, my credentials are fairly good. I got bachelor's and master's from Cornell, and I got my PhD from uh, Rutgers. And I studied under two Nobel Prize winners who told me to be tough, just like you're going to try to be <laughs> tough on me. I'm, and, I'm really uh, mean. Uh, I studied under one Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Sumner in, at Cornell, and right. another at Dr. Waxman at Rutgers. And they taught me that be stubborn. If you think you're breaking new ground, everybody will be against you. Okay, but, but what's your field of research? My field of research is biochemistry, and I got involved then with the poultry industry and from then to, with the fishing industry okay. and I would say the fishing industry is my main interest. Okay. What has been the response of the medical community to claims that shark cartilage is going to help people? Very negative. All over the world? All over the world, although it's starting to change, okay. uh, I would say, but it's based. See, doctors are trained uh, to chemically, they're trained in chemicals. If you have a headache, take this chemical. If you got a backache, take this chemical. And the pharmaceutical industry feeds the doctors information and the doctors pass it on. Uh, that wasn't always the case. That started uh, with the Second World War. And now it's uh, chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. Okay. Well, we're going to get to the phones and I have a whole bunch more questions for okay. you. Okay. But uh, we will start with Tom in Victoria. Hi, Tom. Yes. Uh, I would like to know what the active ingredient is in this substance and also um, uh, whether... Uh, this can it be applied to the the um, neurological diseases like muscular dystrophy, which I have. Okay. Well, that's a very good question. Yeah, what, what does it treat? Uh, what, well, know, it treats anything that requires new blood vessels, of which are neurological things are not involved. It will work on cancer. It will work on... Uh, on diabetic retinopathy, it'll work on psoriasis, it'll work on osteoarthritis, but it will not work on, it's not a, I'm not a medicine man, I, I, I don't cure everybody. Uh, it, what are the active components? I wish I knew. Uh, we believe there are four proteins in the shark cartilage which inhibit blood vessel development. And now angiogenesis inhibition, blood vessel development, is looked upon as the breakthrough component or breakthrough item uh, in cancer research because cancer research is stalled. They're, okay. they're making not, not much progress. Okay. And let's talk to Catherine in Abbotsford now. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Hi. Um, I just tuned into your show and I didn't quite hear what it was used for, but uh, the question just prior to answer that, mm -hmm. it's a cure for cancer or it can uh, improve it? Well, cure is a bad word with cancer because uh, they metastasize and they keep coming back. 
uh, I would say, to improve the quality of life, to extend life, uh, to get you to a tumor-free state. That's what we try to do. A tumor-free state. Now, so you, you have research that shows tumors at a certain stage, and people are treated with char cartilage, and, it, and they go away? Yes, we have MRIs. We'll, we'll show that tonight. Uh, MRIs, CAT scans, x -rays. So why wouldn't the medical community jump on that and say, look, the tumor, it was there and it's gone? Spontaneous remission. That's what they all, oh. Oh, I, <laughs> you know, I, for me, they find, I, I find hundreds of cases of spontaneous remission where, where normally they don't find any, but uh, okay. suddenly, suddenly that happens. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, oh, Wanda from Coombs? Hello? Hi. Yes, it's your turn. Yeah, I, I'd like to uh, know what the difference would be between the shark... Um, cartridge and shark liver oil? Oh, that's oh. a good question. They're, and shark cartilage, that's the knuckles yeah. and stuff. Uh, there's no comparison. They're both in the shark, but that's all that can be said. Shark cartilage has this ability. Uh, shark liver oil has none of this ability. So how do you know that? Just just in research. Are these uh, things that you, how, how many years have you spent on this? I've spent 15 years now, and uh, I would say the last uh, 10 years have been real uh, intensive. So we've got uh, hundreds of patients uh, in test, and we've got thousands of patients which are using it on a worldwide basis. Now, and the shark cartilage then, is, it's the backbone mainly? It's or? primarily what I found mm -hmm. is the sections of the, of the cartilage are much more active than other sections. And today this product Benefin is, is using only the active portions and we're finding uh, there it works, it works. Okay. What's more important, oh. Judy? Mm -hmm. How does it work or does it work? If you're dying, you don't give a darn how it works. You just want it to work. Okay. Well, let's, let's uh, hear from Lisa in Campbell River. Hi, Lisa. Oh, hi. Hi. Go ahead. Um, I have a question for you um, about breast cancer. Has there been any studies on, uh, for breast cancer and how this, how this would work? Uh, with breast cancer, we're uh, happy to say one of the trials uh, approved by the FDA has been on advanced, non-responsive breast cancer. And just before I left on this trip uh, two days ago, uh, the first breast cancer patient is responding dramatically. All her tumors were gone. Okay, now in a case like that, that's a, that's a huge um, claim to be making that you've got, well, you've got one incident of it, so obviously there's going to be some efforts to have more for well, breast you must cancer. realize, Judy, we work only with stage four patients. Stage four meaning? Meaning terminal. Mm -hmm. They've given up. they failed everything. Everything else has not worked. Go home and die. So frequently, these people have gone through chemotherapy and all these other things. Not frequently, do. always. Okay, so they're in rough shape anyway. Uh, and most cancer research, in fact, I would say almost all cancer research, is done on stage one, early cancer. Oh, okay. I work only with the late stages. And chem chemotherapy and radiation have given up on these patients. Mm -hmm. And when I can make 10% or 20% of these people respond, it's like a miracle. With breast cancer, we're getting about 60% responding. With brain cancer, we're getting close to 80% responding. Wow. Well, it would be nice if they could isolate what it is that appears to be uh, triggering this. Yes, I, I would agree with you, and yeah. we're working on it, but uh, yeah. it takes time and money. Stay continued. Okay, uh, Doris in Cobble Hill. Hi, Doris. Hi there. Hi. Um, my question is, I have read quite a bit about the um, shark's cartilage, and I do have bad arthritis. I actually have a... Um, the shark's cartilage, but I'm a bit afraid to use it because I understand that if it prohibits new blood vessels from developing, surely if you were in an accident or had to have um, unexpected surgery, this would be a drawback to that, um, to, to your recovery from those sort of things. Well, that's a good question, very detailed. That's a very good question. You must realize it only works at the present time. If you take it today, it will work today. But tomorrow, it, the, the effect wears off. So, so there's going to be uh, something residual that will... There's no residual. So uh, with the cancer, you have to take it day in and day out, and it works. Now, you said that you, you need money to isolate these things, right? Now, anyone looking, if, if they're trying to accuse you of being a snake oil salesman, for example, which I'm sure you get all the time, uh, they're going to say, well, you got lots of money. That's why you're doing this, so you can be wealthy. And this is, this is what you're getting out of this. So why isn't there money for the research? Why isn't there money? Because, they, because research costs millions, and what I make a year off my books uh, would be measured in thousands. So uh, I'm doing this because it's a labor of love, 
believe it or not, that is the case. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and you don't get major pharmaceuticals lining up to <sighs> Because there's no, ask. There's no uh, patent position. Yeah. Uh, and so the there's no patent? You can't patent something like that? You can't patent it. Mm -hmm. And as such, uh, anybody can copy it. That's why you got all these shark cartridges, uh, right. because they're all claiming my work and my results, but they're putting out, many cases, an inferior product, which is cheap and uh, not effective. But I get the blame. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Leona in Victoria. Hi, Leona. Hi, Judy. What I'm phoning about, I had lung cancer, and I believe that it has come back now. I've had as much radiation as I can take, um, and I've just heard about this shark cartilage, and I was wondering how much should I start with. I picked up a bottle of the pills, but it's uh, 750 milligrams were in the article in the paper from Dr. Lane here. He mm -hmm. specified 60 to 90 grams, so where do I start and how much? And, and what is the label on the pills that you picked up? It's the um, Hattatant or something. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thanks. What I would say is the product that is under test that I basically find in all my work is the powder. Uh, because it, with the powder, you could take the high dosage uh, with the Now, there's pill. quite a difference between what she says the pills are at and what you're recommending. She would have to take the whole bottle with one every, one, every day. So uh, the doctors and the health food stores often tell the people the wrong information. Uh, and that's why I'm here, to try to give people the right information. Mm -hmm. uh, if they take the right amount uh, and they take the right product, they have a good chance at bringing about... Uh, uh, the, a right answer. Okay. If, uh, Let me show don't. them that uh, that pattern then. But and in a case like this, then uh, is there any chance of ODing on shark cartilage? That's what uh, the powder looks like. Uh, what does OD mean? Benefit. Well, I mean, you know, they t they tell you if you take too much vitamin C or vitamin B or vitamin E that you could have a problem. I mean, it, well. You, you know, you're not going to start swimming around uncontrollably if you take too much. Judy, you? if you're a stage four <laughs> cancer victim, you should only worry about, am I going to survive the cancer? Yeah. If you start worrying about what will happen to me in four years, believe me, with cancer, you won't be here in four but years. But there haven't been any side effects, have there? None at all. And we're today, I would say easily, there are 50,000 people using this all over the world. Uh, my books has, uh, are now in 12, 13, 14, 15 languages. Uh, and wherever I go, they know about this. So okay. uh, we okay. have wide research and wide usability. Okay, let's talk quickly to Lenora in Vancouver. Hi, Hello. Lenora. Hi. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I heard uh, on TV that uh, uh, any shark pro product had uh, mercury in it, which is dangerous to health. Okay, well, see, that's the kind of questions that... Uh, I'm glad to get these questions. And try to, uh, there are, one of the reasons that shark cartilage works is that why is shark cartilage white? Why is cartilage white? Because there's no blood vessels in cartilage. There's no way for mercury to get into the cartilage. Now, shark meat has a fair amount of mercury, mm. but shark cartilage has no mercury. So maybe the shark liver oil would have mercury in it. I would say there'd be more in the shark liver oil, but again, uh, the shark meat is where, mm. see, shark is, a, is at the end of the ecological chain. Mm. And what does that mean, that it eats everything? It eats everything, mm -hmm. and the, they, they eat it in a, and the residual stays. They eat it and the residual stays. Right. So by the time you get to the shark, there's a high amount of mercury, but there's none in the cartilage, and okay. the cartilage is basically nothing about mercury. Okay, we have to take a break, and we'll be right back. And if you're on hold, please be patient. We're talking about shark cartilage and its possible effects. <laughs> Tam She is brought to you in part by Metro Lexus Toyota, leaders in customer satisfaction. Charging. Charging? That wasn't charging. He needs glasses. I need glasses? I've got glasses. Olympic glasses for Meso. In fact, I got six of them. You're the ones that need glasses. Olympic glasses, emblazoned with the official symbol of the 98 Winter Games. $1.99 each with your free SO Extra card. In fact, you all need glasses! You all need glasses! You all need glasses! You know, Remy, we got a way too much inventory. It's time for a January clearance sale here at Glen Oak Ford. We'll put a $1,000 cash rebate on those, and we'll get 1.9% financing on these, and we'll put explorers on for $179 a month, and we'll sell price every new and used car on the lot. 
The January clearing sale is on right now at Glen Oak Ford, both locations, downtown on Douglas and on the Old Island Highway. Right, Remy? Right. The Make-A-Wish Foundation of Canada makes wishes come true for children with life-threatening illnesses. Tara's wish was that her dog, Boomer, appear in a national television commercial. Wick is a corporate parent to this and 20 other television and radio stations across Canada. We support the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Like you, we care about this community. So anyway, this is Boomer, and this is Tara, and this is a wish come true. You get a smile, deep boots, you're getting more. I'll have to laugh, deep boots, so much in store. I'm trying to keep the island smiling each and every day. We're trying to do all we can do. The slides in the bag for you. Have a great 1998. Thrifty Boots. And today we're talking about shark cartilage. Our guest is Dr. William Lane, PhD. He's the author of Sharks Still Don't Get Cancer. And he's going to be talking to you about some of your uh, comments and questions. And you were saying that people might be concerned that there aren't enough sharks to go around if you're from well, the sea. There, well, there's a lot of talk. The environmentalists, and, and God bless them there, they should be talking about this. But uh, the, uh, I don't kill any sharks, not even one for shark cartilage. Uh, most of the sharks, in fact, all sharks, are caught for their fins. Mm. Uh, they get oh, about for fin soup and stuff. That's right. You sharks. hit it right in the nose. They get about two hundred dollars for the fins of a large shark, and then they cut off the fins and throw the carcass away dead. Oh, I see. So, so you're making use of something. just making use of this this material. Uh, the fishermen will get maybe five dollars for the cartilage. They'll never catch a shark for five dollars, but they will catch a shark for two hundred and five dollars. Right. And that's what what it amounts to. Well, you know, if you run out of sharks, you can always go after the lawyer. See, how we should ask you that question just to get to that. Anyway, uh, let's talk to Jukes now in Vancouver. Hi, Jukes. Hello. Hi, go ahead. Uh, my question is basically concerning uh, the doctor's research. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I'm interested in knowing uh, what kind of research the doctor conducted. Okay, well, that's a good And the question. size of the sample. And the size of the sample, right. How, what's the credibility of the research? <sighs> I'm afraid it has to be less credible than maybe this caller is used to uh, because we haven't had a big company supporting this. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to get my, my, my samples up larger, uh, but that's what the FDA trials are. Now, these are trials which uh, Now, you're talking approved. about the Food and Drug Administration in the United States. You're American. A lot of this is right. taking place in the United States. And the FDA has now said that they will be testing this. They have approved... And these studies are now underway. We're doing tra uh, tests on uh, on breast, brain, carpus coma, and prostate. Okay. And uh, this is a, a breakthrough. It's never been done before. Now, your sample sizes were roughly what? Four what, the, what the FDA asked for. No, I mean, before that. Oh, I would say Cuba, we had 29. Okay. Uh, that's so a pretty good sample. Uh, right. In Mexico, we had eight. And now the FDA has asked for 14, and that's what we're doing. Okay. Let's talk to Ed in Victoria. Hi, yeah. Ed. Hi, Judy. Hi, go ahead. Um, Dr. Lane, I just would like to know if any of your study and research has shown that uh, prolonged taking of uh, shark cartilage uh, with people who have previously suffered with cancer and so far have gotten a clean bill of health might uh, have uh, a positive effect by taking shark cartilage. Like a preventive measure? Yeah. Okay, well that's a good question. A preventative study... Uh is a very long-term study and it has to have thousands of people and only government can afford to do these. Uh, so I have no preventative studies. Do However, you take shark cartilage? Yes. You do, and you, and, you don't have cancer. And I don't have cancer. Uh, I would say if the, you're cancer prone, if there's cancer in your family, uh, taking a preventative dosage would be wise. And but how I much cannot does prove it cost? It. Uh, again, like this big cost huge is, uh, thing. all right, now the cost is, is relative. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I mean, uh, you have to look at the therapy. Yeah. The whole therapy, uh, from the time you start it till the time, hopefully, you're cancer-free, mm -hmm. is about nine months. And uh, the cost would be, oh, again, it's based on body size, but an average person, maybe $6,000. Over hearing, nine months. Uh, yeah, $7,000. But you should realize that 
the conventional therapy is costing about a half a million dollars. But then the system pays for that. But uh, who is the system? Yeah, I know. It's we are good. the system. And why are you closing hospitals in Canada oh, and no, the no, U.S.? Yeah, we'll get you me, know that. The big picture, you won't get an so, argument. So, and uh, today, you'll pay $20,000 for an automobile, and everybody drives an automobile. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with paying $7,000 to save your life? I, I, get, I, get, uh, I get real emotional about this when they think it's expensive. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure they'll ask you about this. Hi, Lori in yes. Nanaimo. Yes, your turn. Uh, my question was about the humane side of it. Uh, if it becomes mass marketed, right. how many sharks are going to pass away because of this? Right. And also, which organizations could start uh, profiting from people's sicknesses? Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a legitimate question. Again, we've answered that question in terms of we don't kill any sharks. The sharks are killed, and if you profit from it, God bless. I, I, if my mother has cancer, believe it or not, I won't worry about the sharks. I'll worry about my mother. I think now, what he's worried about is that if this really took off, I mean, right now you said there's, what, 50,000 people taking this in the United yes. States? All over the world. If suddenly uh, a million people were taking it, then you're looking at a lot more sharks. A lot of pressure. We're now... Uh, learning how to culture shark cartilage cells. Uh, there's a lot that will be done, but the important thing is get it started. Uh, you have in your waters dogfish. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are yeah, and people dogfish by, throw by, them out. They're yeah. all thrown away. Yeah. Dogfish makes great shark cartilage uh, if it's processed the right way. It's a shark. Okay. So, I mean, there are the resources. All we've got to do is use them. The epiphany of the dogfish, eh? <laughs> That would be interesting. Uh, Mark in Vancouver. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi, yes. go ahead. I had a question. Uh, I've inquired about shark cartilage previously, and uh, I have a particular type of uh, brain tumor cancer, which is uh, it's one which is diffusing through the brain rather than being a discrete mass in the brain. And I've, my understanding is that this uh, cartilage, particularly affected with tumors, are a discrete lump as opposed to those which are perhaps more diffuse. You sound uh, very young. Be, you sound very young to be having. Um, I'm both. I'm in my late thirties. Yeah. Would that be correct? I'm. I'm asking Dr. Lane if that has mm -hmm. some validity to that. That information I heard. That's a good question. Uh, that's basically right. It works with best with solid tumors, uh, because a solid tumor is the one that has to be supplied with the blood. Uh, with diffuse uh, cancer, I have never heard of this brain uh, tumor which is diffuse. Uh, I just wonder if they're giving him a story or whether it's a. Whether it's true. Uh, well, I'm sure that if he, you know, we have pretty good medical system. He's probably had a scan uh, and everything. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm saying what they're telling him about how they're interpreting is res the the scans. I'm not saying the scans are, are mm -hmm. or I'm not saying the medical system. I'm just wondering if the the story. It works best on solid tumors. I cannot answer the, uh, the rest basically of the for the diverse. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Just before we go to the break, though, if you'd like more information on the shark cartilage, you can go to a free public lecture that is tonight. And this is, of course, for people in Victoria from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Laurel Point Inn, salons A to D, and the Laurel Point Inn is at 680 Montreal Street. You can also call a toll-free number, which is 1-800-665-8830, and that way people can uh, deal with you directly. See, look at that. We're giving you a free promo of your free public lecture. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you. So, skeptical or a believer, you can go down there and talk to him directly, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Get Touched by Love, a new 36-song collection of the most popular soft rock hits. Darling, if you want me to be closer to you, get closer to me. I love you. I honestly love you. I go crazy when I look in your eyes. You'll feel the magic of love in every song. by love. 
Love brings you 36 of the most romantic songs of our time. Touched by Love is not sold in stores, so order now. Call this toll free number now for Touched by Love. Two cassettes, nineteen ninety eight. Two CDs, twenty six ninety eight. Plus four ninety five shipping. Call now. We're talking to Dr. William Lane. He has done a lot of work with shark cartilage, and we'll uh, go right back to the phones, right? Okay, thank okay. you. Yeah, let's start with Paula in Victoria. Hello, Paula. Hi. Hi, go ahead. Um, I've got two questions. Um, the first one I think he, uh, he already might have touched on when I was on hold about side effects. <laughs> Okay. And the second question I'm wondering is my aunt just recently started radiation for bone cancer, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if he's had any successful cases mm -hmm. of bone cancer. Okay. Two good uh, questions. Yes. I, first of all, uh, uh, with bone cancer, uh, it's generally not a not not the primary tumor. It's generally a metastasized tumor with bone cancer. Mist uh, metastasized meaning what? It spread. It started at breast cancer. It went to the the bone. Mm -hmm. uh, bone is uh, most painful, yeah. and I would say. Our success rate is high, and we're going to be showing a case of bone cancer tonight for those who come. We'll show the MRI before and the MRI afterward, and you'll see it yourself. If uh, people take shark uh, cartilage treatment, do they have to stop the other treatment, or is it just you're saying that they've already passed that and it hasn't I worked? would say <clears throat> almost everybody is taking it along with the conventional therapy. Okay. Uh, in my tests, it's, only ther it's the only therapy. Because they're used. stage four, right? Well, so no. In, because the tests won't mean anything if they're oh, using complex. Oh, of course, you have to isolate it. So right. we're only using this, uh, okay. and that's how you prove it. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to Alfredo now in Vancouver. Hi, Alfredo. Hello. Hi, go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to make a comment to shark cartilage. Right. Uh, I've been taking it for about three years now, mm -hmm. and I suffered prior to that date with uh, arthritis in my lower arms. Mm -hmm. It came to the point that I hardly could turn the steering wheel off my oh car, right? Yes. And I had excellent results. I don't even think anymore about it that I have arthritis. And so uh, it's worth the money to you, I guess, because it must have cost you some money over Oh, years. most definitely, because all the other stuff you take, like naproxen, or I, I had taken, it mm -hmm. screws up your uh, digestive system. Okay. And shark cartilage has no... No, no, no symptoms like that, you know. Okay, well, thank, thank you very much for that, Alfredo. You didn't pay that guy to phone anything. No, I didn't, you didn't pay him. You didn't set him up there. No, I didn't no, set him up I'm there. Sure and actually, uh, it's true what he said. It it works on about seventy percent of the cases uh, for pain, and it works beautifully. So it actually relieves the pain with arthritis. Like, what does it do? Like, you have swollen joints, and then they they, they stop being. It swollen? works as an anti-inflammatory, mm. uh, but it works. Uh, with cancer, the first thing you see is at five weeks, the pain disappears uh, in bone, and, and uh, that's the first sign is the pain. Yeah. Well, that in itself would be a big relief for people. Um, let's talk to Anne now in Victoria. Hello, Anne. Hi. Um, I, I was just diagnosed this past week with a level four brain, brain tumor. Hello. Yes. Yeah, yeah we're and um, I'm starting radiation next Monday. And my question is, um, would the shark cartilage, um, should I take it with the radiation or should I wait? I'm taking six weeks of radiation. Wow. All right, now, that must be tough. what you have in a brain tumor is a, a bulky thing. Uh, so radiation or surgery debulks the tumor. So I'm a great believer in debulking it. Mm -hmm. Once you debulked it, then go on the shark cartilage and hopefully... Uh, reduce the, the, the residual, and in fact, resi reduce it completely. So if she's undergoing that conventional treatment, she doesn't. then it's not a good time to no, take it? No, she could take it uh, uh, at the same time, mm -hmm. but then, of course, you can only take so much radiation, mm -hmm. and with radiation, you will debulk it, but it will grow back. Right. What I'm hoping is debulk it with the radiation, mm -hmm. and then the shark cartilage, wipe it out. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Let's talk to Larry now, up in Courtney. Hello, Larry. Hello. Hi, go ahead. Good afternoon, Dr. Lane. Good afternoon. 
I am, as previous to the gentleman before, about uh, shark cartilage as an anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. um, through sports I've suffered with lower back pain, and uh, I've been taking shark cartilage well, for a couple of years now. I find it very reasonable in respect to cost, mm -hmm. but um, I would recommend level. it. Pardon? Yeah, he's just saying that was a low level. That's probably low level because it's an anti-inflammatory. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I won't n mention the brand name, but um, I recommend it to all the golfers out there who, who um, are affected with lower back pain. It's, it's, it's a marvelous product. Isn't that something? So you get those kinds of endorsements. What about things like, like tennis elbow and uh, carpal tunnel? And well, carpal tunnel, no, but on, uh, on uh, tennis elbow. Now, I say it works in about 70% of the cases, mm -hmm. and uh, it works beautifully. And it wouldn't be like the placebo now, effect kicking in. No, that I have to ask you. No, you know, well, yeah, the placebo effect is not going to last for two or three years. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but that's the low level. Now, the cost of the low level is very low. Yeah, it's the cancer where you use the high level. Okay, so and the low level would give us a ballpark. Uh, oh, I would say per month. Oh, I would say fifteen dollars at most. A month. A month lower. Oh well, okay. Well, that's uh, much more affordable. Okay, let's talk to Cindy in Victoria now. Hi, Cindy. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. Um, I was watching a documentary actually uh, a couple weeks ago that showed that they cut off the fins and for the cartilage, and they just throw the rest of the shark back in the water to die. So I'd yes. like to know where he uh, got his supplies for his research, and also if he knows what they do with the rest of the shark. Okay, well then, and that's come up a little bit before, but let, maybe we start at the beginning. How did you find this, and how did you find the supply? Where did you go? Well, I there? basically found that sharks really get cancer, and you say, why? And the, and the, well, because uh, you, what, you notice that other animals get cancer? Yes, get, get a lot of cancer in the ocean. So that's not a facetious and, title? You're no, just, by, by, it's true. Sharks really get cancer. And uh, so then when MIT published, and MIT is the top technical school of the United States, mm -hmm. they published it with the cartilage, which was that publication in 83, that, that it's a shark cartilage which inhibited blood vessel development and stopped tumor growth. And with that, I was... Uh, Ready to jump in the water and went so all the way. How did you find your sharks? That's what she was uh, Again, uh, I find the sharks. There are about 12 million sharks caught every year for their fins and thrown away, like she mm, says. All I do is have to appeal to the fishermen to save the cartilage and to save it uh, with quality, keep it under refrigeration. Is there more cartilage supply than the demand right now? Right now, there's much more mm. cartilage than, than uh, supply. Nobody's going to have a Save the Sharks campaign, you know. If they do, they better go after the Chinese because they're the ones using them for fins. Okay. Let's talk to Denise in Vancouver now. Hi, Denise. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dr. Lane. Hi. Uh, I have a couple of questions. I would be considered a level four. Um, I've heard of this before. Uh, my questions are, where would I be able to safely purchase this powder in Vancouver, say, where I'm from, and on a high level for what I would need in Canadian dollars, because money is important to me. I'm on disability. What would it cost me, um, just generally speaking? How heavy are you, Judy? How heavy? I'm 109 pounds. Denise. All right, Denise. Uh, it would okay. cost you about, well, you would be using about uh, 50 45 to 50 grams a day, so your cost would be, the whole therapy would cost you in the neighborhood of $4,000 mm. for spent over nine months. That's so, going to be impossible uh, for someone on disability. Again, yeah. everything costs money. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just but, wondering, is there any it, way that they can hook up with uh, some of your experiments so that well, they could be part of the test group? The, all the tests are being done in the East, mm -hmm. uh, and so it's pretty hard. To, well, to you better up. get some Western subjects. All right, yeah, I'm, so I'm all for you. The Canadian government is... Uh, one of the real sticklers, yeah. and so we're not doing any research here. Red tape is our specialty. That's right. She also asked where she could get something safely in Vancouver. I would say that you ought to buy the Benefin. Uh, you can buy that brand uh, in almost any health food store, or that they could get it for you. Benefin. So uh, just, they'll try to sell you the store brand, but uh, I'm telling you, uh, the difference is day and night. Uh, and I'm not saying this because I'm involved with this product. I'm saying this because it's true. The FDA trials are on this product, and this product is what you should get. In the States, yeah. Okay, and what I would hope that she would do is, is see if she can't get some assistance from the Ministry of Health provincially. That's, that's again, politics, which you uh, know about, I, I don't. Know. Well, she's talked to her MLA. We'll be right back after a quick break. So much in store. We're trying to keep the eye. 
smiling, smiling each and every day. We're trying to do all we can do. The smiles in the bag for you. Have a great 1998. Thrifty Foods. Sometimes you get a craving for great classic rock. Rock 101 plays a better mix of great classic rock. When you need classic rock, only one radio station gives you a better mix of great classic rock. Vancouver's better mix of classic rock, Rock 101. It's here. The Check TV Grizzlies giveaway at the Auto Show now through January 18th. Brought to you by Check TV, the province, and Rock 101. Enter to win Grizzlies tickets and souvenir packages daily. Plus, be eligible to win the grand prize, a suite for 10 to watch the Grizzlies play Sacramento this spring. Check the province for contest details or enter at the show. And Grizzlies fans receive two-for-one admission to the Auto Show at BC Place with any ticket from any home game. The 1998 Pacific International Auto and Light Truck Show. It's here. How do you throw out a garbage can? Canada Trust asks, what confuses you? Anything metric confuses me. Yeah. Stereo instructions. <laughs> Where does the wax from dripless candles go? Oh, I got one for you. Mutual funds. If RSPs are confusing uh -huh. you, Canada Trust can help. No load, small cap, high tech, no tech, you know? <laughs> Our experienced investment consultants with a wide range of mutual funds and GICs can tailor the right plan for you. Don't be confused by RSPs. For clear answers, call Canada Trust. Yeah, right on the lake. Yeah. And so what we're looking at right now is where else you can see, uh, Dr. Lane, if you are in Vancouver, and I'll say Vancouver because we don't reach Kelowna, on Wednesday evening at uh, the Holiday Inn in Vancouver Centre, if you come and you sit quietly in the back of the room, you can join in. I'm assuming that that's at 7 p.m. Yes, that's it? primarily for doctors, but... If, you, if we get a small uh, lay audience, it would be permissible. Okay. And the other thing is that if you know people in Kelowna or if you're from Kelowna, then you're at the Grand Okanagan on Tuesday night. So it'll be tomorrow night. So tomorrow night and Wednesday night in Vancouver. Okay, let's talk to Delma in Chimenez. Hi, Delma. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dr. Lane. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good. I have to tell you that we're great believers in the shark cartilages. My husband was diagnosed with prostate cancer, hmm. and... Before he got the radiation, he started taking the shark cartridges. He took the radiation. He is free and clear. Wow. So, so that's, that's you know, good news. Whenever I speak, uh, there are always 5, 10, 15 people who come up to me and say, God bless you because of, of your work. I'm alive today. Or well, my mother's alive. This is now uh, a gigantic number. We've got hundreds and hundreds of people who are basically uh, cancer-free or have had their life materially extended. Okay. Well, um, have you ever had anybody come to you and claim that uh, the shark cartilage has caused them grief? I mean, for example, the chelation therapist, I was mentioning this during the break, uh, the College of Physicians and Surgeons has gone after them, but the patients haven't. Patients have said it's good. So, I would basically say that uh, we have almost no uh, side effects or claims. Uh, uh, some people complain of a you know, a stomach upset, which the first two or three days, but that's the extent of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are no uh, side effects, no ill effects. So does a doctor have to prescribe this, or do you no, just... No, no, I, I say you should work with a doctor, but you should work with a doctor who's sympathetic. Mm -hmm. These doctors who tell you you're a fool by doing this, these kind of people don't help anybody okay. except themselves. Let's talk to Dave now in New Westminster. Hi, Dave. Hi. Uh, once, first of all, I want to thank you for letting me speak here. This is like having your own internet without uh, having a computer. <laughs> um, my my comment was more environmental. Again, you, you touched on almost everything, except for one thing: uh, the aspect of farming. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like in a fishery. Right. Um, you know, um, uh, for you know, like the the like the best shark fin, best shark cartilage. Has anybody looked into the idea of farming and you know, like replenishing the uh, the environment? Uh, that's a great question, and it goes well, <laughs> the trouble is the sharks are cannibalistic, 
and uh, what you'll end up with, what you'll end up is one big shark. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it, when you survive with the fittest, you they're not like salmon or trout where you can raise them in schools. With sharks, if you start them all out together, you'll end up with one shark, and he'll be mighty big. Now <laughs> you had mentioned though something about cultures. Yes, so we, to make we're, cultures. what we're doing is learning how to culture the cells. Now what does and that mean? That means in a laboratory, we're actually growing shark cartilage mm -hmm. cells, and we get the same effect. Mm -hmm. But that's very costly yeah. and it's still in its infancy but we are looking into that now that's something that might eventually end up with a patent and then you can get a pharmaceutical right. company involved, huh. involved then in the that. system kicks in okay let's talk to Farayel in Vancouver hi is it Farayel yes yes go ahead please I oh you have to turn your TV down go ahead just listen it's to your phone Farial? yes okay go ahead I hello TV now. Go ahead. <laughs> You have to listen to your phone and not your TV. I think your TV's on a little bit Yes, loudly. I wanted to ask you about... Okay, I think you may... Okay. okay. Go ahead. I wanted to ask you, my father has been diagnosed with prostate mm -hmm. cancer. He takes the shark cartilage. He's going for a surgery on the 29th. What do you see of it coming? Okay, the surgery. Well, first, first of all, I'd like to say... When you say he's taking the shark cartilage, what is he taking? Three pills a day? Oh, she's already gone. But I, I think what she's concerned about is the uh, surgery. The surgery. In the surgery, she should st he should stop the uh, the, the cartilage for about uh, two days before and about two weeks after. Why? Because it will prevent healing or delay healing. It, oh. it takes blood vessels to bring about healing, and it will interfere with healing. So uh, you don't want to take it during the period of your healing. But once you've healed, and that takes basically two weeks. Then you want to take this to prevent the, the tumor from growing again. Okay, so that's important for everybody to know, that if there's some sort of surgery involved with it. Yes. But the radiation therapy? The radiation you can take uh, along with, okay. and it, uh, that debulks. It's okay. very good. Do medical doctors ever want to come after you for trying to be a doctor? Like for giving medical advice? Do they ever say, hey, you're giving medical advice, we're going to sue you? Unfortunately, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately. I, 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 because I, I would say that the way I do it uh, is uh, I, I praise doctors, but I tell them to open their open their eyes and read more than what their pharmaceutical company gives them. Okay, let's try to take a quick call from Jane in Victoria. Hi, Jane. Yes, hello, hello, Dr. Lane. Hello. I have melanoma cancer. I was diagnosed about eight years ago, and uh, I have gone to natural foods and shark cartilage. Now I've had melanoma in some difficult areas that have caused me problems, so. Mm -hmm. I have gone off the shark cartilage, mm -hmm. and uh, while I'm having this surgery and this other treatment, and I do notice a difference, and I just wanted to say that uh, uh, shark cartilage needs more advertising out there because it not only helped me slow down my melanomas and put them on hold, it has uh, also helped me with my arthritis and osteoporosis. So once you came off it, you noticed the difference? I noticed the difference, oh, yes. Okay, well, thank Tremendously. You. And I take the powder mm -hmm. in orange juice, three tablespoons in the morning, and that's it. Okay, well, thank you for that. So another endorsement, and she says that it's... And these are unsolicited. <laughs> I mean, that's a good example. I believe you. You don't have to do, yeah, you yeah. sell me so hard. But, but in this case, she's saying that there should be more exposure to it. That must be a frustration for you. I mean, you're going around... Like what they call them, carpet baggers or something, and Correct. trying to sell this. And, and the doctors should pick it up and run with it. And why they don't, it's all, people don't realize that doctors are a business. They're in business, and the business is sickness. Well, uh, in Canada, it's a little bit less well, extreme, but some people... But it's still, uh, believe it or not, they're, they're yeah. still indoctrinated with what they learned when they went to college. Okay, we have to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of your calls, and we're talking about shark cartilage. <laughs> What I'm about to show you could dramatically change the way you think about caring for your teeth. This special light shows the hard to reach places your toothbrush may not reach, where problems can start. You need protection here. Introducing new Crest MultiCare. With brushing, it helps fight tartar and cavities. And MultiCare's foaming action delivers fluoride protection to expose spaces between teeth, where it's difficult for your toothbrush to reach. New Crest MultiCare, the Crest way to protect hard to reach places. I'm Chris Holm, and this is Amelia. I don't think anybody is ever really prepared to be a father. My wife and I, we share all the responsibilities. My job's the laundry. Amelia generates a lot of tough stains. Obviously, I had to find some help, so I looked on the internet and found stuff that all parents need to know. 
Tide with bleach gets out most tough stains Amelia gets into better than the leading detergent. And it helps keep colors bright. It helps when you know what you're doing. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. You have to learn fast to survive. We hear a lot about globalization, but what does it really mean? For some, it means a bottom line of more. More trade, more profits, more power. But for others, a lot of others, it means less. A kind of global downsizing resulting in more poverty than ever before. USC Canada believes in a different kind of bottom line, where decisions made at the local level help give people more control over their lives. In seven countries around the world, USC Canada is helping strengthen local economies with community-based development programs that create work, protect the environment, and respect local knowledge. USC Canada, local projects in a global context. 56 Sparks Street. Coming up, we'll be talking about bank profits tomorrow and then a few tips on job hunting and Alzheimer's disease. A little bit of background on that. And here are the books written by William Lane. Sharks Still Don't Get Cancer, that's the current one. Sharks Don't Get Cancer, the one that many of you heard of before. And then Shark Cartilage, A Promise Kept. And this video is something that actually deals with many of the people who uh, took We're your talking treatment. talking about today. Okay, let's see how many people we can get through today. We have uh, Vera from Campbell River. Hi, Vera. Hi. Hi, go ahead. Hello, Dr. Lane. Hello. I have a couple of questions. I have chronic lymphocytic leukemia, oh and I have been taking shark cartilage sort of sporadically for the past year. Right. And I'd like to know, it, would it be beneficial to me to continue on as a preventative measure? Okay, good because question. Oh, sorry. With leukemia, with leukemia, it basically does not work, and so I would say that unfortunately it, uh, it will not help you. I wish it would, but uh, uh, it works on the solid tumors, and, and leukemia is not a solid tumor. Now, lymphatic le leukemia. But again, if it's a solid lymph lympho, uh, uh, there is mild effect. Mm. Uh, I'd, I'd like to give you hope, but yeah. uh, I, I don't want to be a charlatan. Uh, it works best on the solid tumors, and the lymph uh, and the blood uh, are not solid tumors. Okay. Let's talk to Robert in Victoria. Hi, Robert. Are you there? Okay. Let's talk to Frank in Vancouver. Hi, Frank. Hi, Judy. Hi, um, hi Dr. Lane. Hello. Um, three quick questions. Um, first of all, um, who, do, who do you work for, Dr. Lane? Uh, who who pays your travel expenses and who do I work for? Yes. Okay, you have to ask questions quickly. Uh, I work for myself. Uh, I uh, basically, believe it or not, uh, I pay my own travel expenses. What else? Do you um, want to know? You're not. You're not paid by Benefin in any no, no. way, shape, or I, form. I had been. They are the ones sponsoring the clinical trials, but I'm not paid by them. I wish I were. Okay. But, uh, okay. Then. Uh, the next but I, I would like to say to you, why is it you're uh, asking that question? Uh, uh, every drug company has people out selling their drugs. Uh, yeah. What's the matter with selling? There's nothing wrong with Yeah, it. no, nothing at all. Okay. And I'm not saying right. that. Um, there is a company um, uh, called Molly's that is on the market uh, locally. It's manufactured and uh, produced locally. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I've, com I've compared a uh, certificate of analysis from Benefin and from Molly's right. and found Molly's to be uh, as good as or superior in um, all the yeah. laboratory analysis that we've done. Okay, I have again, to pick up there because it's... Again, the laboratory time. analysis gives you no answers. What is effective is what is the effect the the effect on the disease, not what the laboratory says. You can have protein which is denatured, but it's still protein. So sort of like laboratory analysis is meaningless. Do you know the product? Well, I, I never heard of it. And they so don't, you don't know. They have no research. What what's important is. I have, have you done research? Is there clinical trials? Are you trying to do research? Right. And everybody climbs on my back, but no one does any work. Okay. I can see that you're very frustrated. Of course, after 15 years. Um, we have a call now from Don in Mission. Hi, Don. Hi. Hi, go ahead. How are you? Fine, thanks. I just wanted to say that I've watched a documentary yesterday on the extinction and the in-use mm -hmm. of animal parts 
Mm-hmm. And how long are these sharks going to last? Okay. Yeah, yeah okay, let's, let, let's ask him to uh, Again, we've talked about that three or four times. We don't kill sharks. If you want to get, stop killing sharks, talk to the Chinese who catch them for their fins. Mm -hmm. What they do is cut off the fins and throw away the dead carcass. I don't see what's wrong with using something for the dead carcass that's being discarded, right. and that's what we're doing. Well, I guess it's important to uh, be, crit you know, to have constructive criticism on this. Um, we don't have time for any more calls. The phone lines are jammed. Uh, what message would you like to get out to British Columbians on this? I would like to say, if you want more information, try to come tonight. If you uh, if you want to have if you want to learn about it, please read. Ask questions because you are responsible for your life. Your doctor, really and truly, is not responsible for your life. Mm -hmm. He's a paid employee. Worry about yourself. Take care of yourself, and you'll live for a long time. Okay. Now, in this, uh, you're putting your book out. What's the difference between the first book you put out and the second book? The Grace's update. Uh, the, the second book uh, is current. The first book was the early, early version. So you got so five years more uh, more, more testimonial, and what we tried to do in the second book is uh, some of the critics. Uh, you know, they just jumped on me. Sharks get cancer. Sharks do this. Sharks without knowing what I'm saying, but they're trying to get. And uh, the, in the second book, I, I took the gloves off. I. Uh, uh, I'm, I see I, that you I'm go after the medical community quite a bit. Yeah, fight. <laughs> yeah I'm nothing like that. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, and I wish you well in the rest of your book tour. It's been a pleasure being with you. Okay, and we'll be right back after a quick break. You're looking at the sport utility vehicle from Toyota that spells fun. Buy the 98 RAV4 and enjoy the safety of full-time four-wheel drive. Go anywhere in BC with big 16-inch tires. It all adds up to value for fun with Toyota's exciting RAV4. Toyota is BC's number one selling import. Save over $3,000 with 4.8 no-limit financing over 60 months. Make haste. The Fast Start sales event at your Toyota BC dealers. What'd you do last weekend? Bored just hanging out? How about some adventure? How about Scouts Canada? October is Popcorn Month at Scouts Canada. Why don't you give it a try? Support Scouts Canada and buy popcorn. Beavers, Cubs, Scouts. Share the adventure. You get a smile. Deep woods, it's your getting more. So much in store. I'm trying to keep the island smiling each and every day. We're trying to do all we can do. The smile's in the bag for you. Have a great 1998. Pretty boots. The Make-A-Wish Foundation of Canada makes wishes come true for children with life-threatening illnesses. Tara's wish was that her dog Boomer appear in a national television commercial. Wick is a corporate parent to this and 20 other television and radio stations across Canada. We support the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Like you, we care about this community. So anyway, this is Boomer, and this is Tara, and this is a wish come true. Banking has changed dramatically in Canada over the last few years, and one thing most of us have noticed are the escalating bank profits. What's behind this, and are they really as good for us as we're being told? We'll talk about that tomorrow. Well, that should be interesting. Now, today uh, we were talking about the shark cartilage, and if you'd like more information, you can certainly contact Dr. Lane. Uh, there is the public lecture tonight from 7 to 9 p.m. in Victoria at the Laurel Point Inn, salons A through D at 680 Montreal Street. However, wherever you are and watching the show, you can call 1-800-665-8830, and you can have information on how to get the proper treatment. And as he was saying, the powder is more for uh, cancer treatment, and the pills are more appropriate for 
um, the, the daily tennis elbow or arthritis. I think it's very important that we keep an open mind when it comes to alternative medicine. I think that conventional medicine has failed in many ways when it comes to wellness and basic health. That's why so often we've brought you some of the different ways of approaching health care. And I wish our governments had more of an open mind so people who are on disabilities could access cheaper and more effective methods. I'm Judy Tayabji, and that's my opinion. What's yours? <laughs>